Remembering a great teammate, friend, and athlete, a vigil was held Wednesday at the West Hill High School football field for 18-year-old Zachariah Brown. Balloons were sent off into the sky to tribute this West Hill senior who was recently killed in an overnight crash on Route 695. Those taking part were given masks. Quote, as far as being an athlete, he had a passion to win, but at the end of the day, he had a good heart. I feel horrible for these kids at this school who can't come together to mourn. Close quote, football coach Adam Griffo. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. A West Hill High School senior was killed in a rollover crash accident in Gettys, New York. Brown was a senior at West Hill High School and was set to graduate this spring. He was also an accomplished basketball player. He scored 1,293 career points and was a three-time All-State selection. He also earned All-Central New York Small School Basketball Honors in 2018, 2019, and 2020, three consecutive years in a row. A person in Madison County tested positive for coronavirus and visited Walgreens in Chittenango. Madison County Health Director stated that anyone who visited that store between noon and 8 p.m. on April 3rd should self-monitor for symptoms until April 17th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention seniors, there's an important email in your Gmail, which is all about a poll on what to do about graduation and senior ball if we are not coming back to school. Uh, Mr. Avellino sent it out, so it is very important that you do do that. And um, your votes on that will affect what we do for the rest of the year with that. Um, so yeah, please do that. And... Um, also a reminder that the baby pictures are for the graduation slideshow are due um, ASAP, so please send them in to Miss Brazil. So far she only has about 17 people and that's got to be stepped up, so send those in at cbrazil at esmschools.org. Three ESM students have qualified for the annual National Merit Scholarship Program. Eric Callahan, Grace Scalfaro, and Zach Seaburn are among the 50,000 highest scoring participants of more than 1.5 million U.S. high school students who took the qualifying preliminary SAT National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test in 2019. Each of the three will be recognized as either a semifinalist or commended student this fall and will enter the 2021 competition for National Merit Scholarship Program Recognition and Scholarship. Today will be mostly cloudy with a high of 48. Tomorrow will be mostly cloudy with some rain showers and a high of 52. Saturday is expected to be mostly sunny with a high of 56. Sunday and Monday there are expected rain showers with highs in the upper 40s and lower 50s. Tuesday looks to be mostly cloudy with a high of 58. I'm Gabby with your weather. Good morning, everybody. Uh, just wanted to say that uh, it's actually nice. It's got some blue skies out there. We should have about a high of uh, upper 40s today. Enjoy the weather though while you can, because about dinner time looks like that we're probably going to get some rain in there. Um, the rain should taper off by midday tomorrow, uh, going to the upper 50s. Saturday is going to be beautiful though. Upper 60s, um, no rain, it's gonna be beautiful. So if you can, you know, step outside in your yard and just kind of take it in while you can because it's gonna drop down again to the 40s on Sunday uh, with definitely um, a chance of rain. So enjoy the sunshine while you can. It's good for you, cheers you up, uh, and can kind of alleviate some of the doldrums. So have a good day. What's up, ESM? Hope you all are doing good. All right, let's get right into it. So as many of you know, the NFL draft is tonight, and it is a draft that is set to make history. Uh, due to all the shutdowns of almost every single sport, the draft will be all virtual, with players participating via video. Commissioner Roger Goodell will be announcing the picks from home, and it is expected an almost locked in, like a 99% chance, that LSU quarterback Joe Burrow will be picked by the Bengals, who have the first overall pick. With that, I'm John Lee Sports.